All right, today we're gonna to demonstrate installing the Trifecta P-Spindle hub assembly with semi-fluid grease. We're gonna start by removing the, whole, the old hub assembly, taking everything apart. All right, removing the old hub cap. I've already got a lot of these off. We're gonna take this hub cap, we're not gonna use it again. We're gonna remove it and discard it. In this case, we'll take out the cotter pin. Once the cotter pin's removed, you can back off the whole hub assembly by taking that axle fastener off. So let's throw the socket on, we'll remove that. Again, we're not keeping any of this. We're gonna be replacing all of it. So as greasy as it is, let's take it off and let's take it apart. And then we're gonna take all the bearings out. Now, if you're lucky, the seal on dock, if it's a two piece, if it's a one piece seal, it may be a little bit harder. Take that off. get all of that cleaned up. So the only thing left to do once this hub assembly is removed is clean the spindle. So we need to get this wear ring off. So with that removed, the next step is cleaning it up. So let's put a brake clean on here. Get all the old grease off. We're gonna to wanna to have a nice clean spindle to work with. If you do need to sand this down from the rust, you make sure you go at least a three quarter inch back. And that's with whatever you've got to clean it. Finish it off with a bit of emery cloth, make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure your bearing journals are good. Let's clean this up a bit more. Make sure all your threads are nice. Perfect. So the next step with this hub assembly, we're actually going to add an installation date on the hub cap. So what we've got is a grease hub cap. Take that out of the box here. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to take this sticker that we've got and we're actually gonna punch out the day code. So on here you'll see it's the month and the year. So we're going to punch it out the year and the month. And prior to doing anything, we're going to put it on the hub cap. That way we can make sure this entire cap is clean. And there's no oil residue on the cap as you'd probably get oil on your hands doing this. So take it you know, and read it on the outside. So install it. like that. All right, so next step. Before we get everything on there, we gotta get some semi-fluid grease on the spindle. So I've got the grease pump here ready to go. So we're gonna wanna put it on the spindle, get lots on there. We don't wanna put any on the journal where the uh, seal is going to sit because the seal is gonna get installed without any lubrication. So we don't need to pre-pack the bearings. The bearings we're gonna fill through the side fill on the hub assembly. Take our trifecta, get ready to go. So again, the spacer is in there. So being careful just to guide it through. Once the second bearing is over, we're gonna line up the keyway, engage that. A little bit of pressure on the threads. Once it bottoms out like that, and remove the retainer that holds it in place. And all we have left to do is torque it to 200 foot-pounds. 200, spin it, 200, spin it. And we're gonna do this three times just to make sure everything's engaged. So now this is installed. Next step, with semi-fluid grease, we're actually gonna put some semi-fluid grease on the SIP torque itself. And this semi-fluid will prevent any corrosion that could possibly happen on the nut or any of this exposed steel here for any, from any condensation. So put lots on there. All right. And then the bearings themselves will be filled through the side fill. So what we also want to do 
is throw a film of semi-fluid grease on the inside of the hubcap, again, to prevent any of the condensation that may happen there. So we'll put that hubcap on. So there's the Sentinel hubcap, and it should look like that with the window grayed out. And then from there, you're gonna take your grease pump, and we're gonna put the grease through the side fill plug here. So remove that. And using a grease pump with a meter on it, because you wanted to calculate exactly how much grease you need to put in there, 47 fluid ounces. And we'll pump 47 fluid ounces in there. Once we've done that, you're going to torque the actual plug down to 20 to 25 foot-pounds. That'll hold it in place. And what we recommend with the semi-fluid, just to get the grease moving, just to give the, the hub assembly about 10 or so rotations, that'll just move around the grease. That way you can get it working its way through the bearing. And then once you've done that, you put your wheels on and you're good to go. So that was the installation with semi-fluid grease.